So, my name is uh, Pasquale, and I am the founder and uh, CEO of Gamis. I did uh, launch already a crypto project. I am the anonymous founder, indeed, of a token that uh, did uh, 200x in the last bull run. And I think uh, that uh, experience was uh, uh, the event that uh, uh, got me to the idea to build this platform. Because the episode was that, uh, of course, we did a lot of marketing uh, video for with influencers, content creators. And once we paid a guy for a TikTok uh, video, and uh, right after he uploaded the video on TikTok, his account was uh, banned. Uh, we lost the money and uh, he lost the, the account. So basically, I realized uh, that I wanted to build a, a place where people could talk freely and uh, we, where we could solve several industry issues. And uh, indeed, if we analyze the, the market and the industry, uh, there are several issues like no user rewards because these companies like uh, YouTube, uh, TikTok, they make billions every year, but they never give anything back to the users. And the um, content creators uh, struggle to monetize and uh, they have no ownership of their own content. Furthermore, there is no privacy because they sell uh, data to other companies, lack of expression, payment delay, and high commission. So here we are, Gummies, a decentralized video and streaming platform that uh, expanded the knowledge and dive users into the Web3 space with the world's brightest digital content creators and industry leaders. We're going to also deploy a token because we strongly think that the token uh, economy will boost the user acquisition, building community, and also the engagement on the platform. Our app is already live uh, in a better version, and uh, it's, it's very easy to use. You just need a crypto wallet. You can log in with MetaMask Trust Wallet, and uh, you are ready to go. You don't need to provide any sensitive information, and we store everything on blockchain. We store on IPFS via Filecoin. And then each video is going to be minted NFT on Polygon. And for the live streaming, uh, we rely on our partner, LiveBeard. Let's have a look to our audience and our user personas. We have the content creators. Uh, these are the first type of content creators that we focus on, but of course we aim to expand and scale up, but we want to start from crypto projects, web three events, blockchain brands, uh, crypto gamers, exchange influencers, and those entrepreneurs that want to talk about web three. And what about users? Uh, we call uh, our ideal user, John May. And uh, he's a guy from 22 to 35 years old that now is switching between TikTok, YouTube, Twitch, but also Twitter to learn and to know more about the new trends, about the new projects, content creators, but also to joining uh, discussions and engage with the projects. And we are building already several amazing features. Uh, I really love this one, Gamis Pops. It's a short video uh, format uh, like uh, 60 seconds or less, like TikTok. And of course, with the main goal of uh, uh, sharing information about projects and uh, also learning. Then we have Gamis Spaces, which is a, a conference, is a kind of Twitter space. But the difference is that, uh, of course, it's decentralized, but the projects uh, are able to reward the users that engage uh, the most. Now we see that uh, many holders uh, join MAAs on Telegram or also on Twitter, but then in the end, they are not rewarded. And uh, uh, I also did with my project uh, giveaways and activities just manually because yeah, there, there is no such a tool yet on the market. And of course, uh, a big segment is also the live streaming. We do the live streaming for events. Uh, we indeed did already several events and also for gamers that want to uh, live stream uh, when they uh, when they play, we already have more than five k users, but we are not doing any paid uh, activity. Uh, we are now testing, we are bootstrapping, and we already have some traction. Indeed, uh, several uh, 
uh, industry leaders are testing our product. Uh, we have done the live streaming, for instance, of uh, CB Summit in Switzerland. Uh, we are also media partner with uh, Token 2049, and we start uh, in London uh, next uh, month and also the other events. But they are already uploading the content on Gamut, for instance. And also unstoppable domain, uh, domains with them, uh, we do podcasts, live streaming, and also they upload uh, learning videos on the platform. We are growing together with our partners, and uh, we already closed a pre-seed round. Uh, it was led by CBBC from Switzerland, and uh, we got grants from uh, several protocols like Polygon, Aave, Filecoin. And uh, we are now doing the accelerator program with uh, Polygon Ventures. It is uh, managed by IST Labs and also the Chainlink startup program. But let's have a look on the ways we profit. Uh, we profit with uh, B2B, with advertisement and events, featured videos and learning, and also B2C from in-app transactions like donations, uh, purchases, NFTs. Uh, our team has already worked in the blockchain space uh, with several projects, but we also have experience in corporates, IT, content distribution, and finance. And uh, yeah, these are the latest achievements. We won the Chainlink Hackathon uh, this summer. We got the first prize as the best project using uh, the decentralized storage. We also got a sponsored prize from uh, the Polygon Beetle Hackathon the last month. And uh, yeah, as mentioned, we got grants from other protocols as well. Our roadmap, we're going to release the mobile applications by the end of the year and also complete this program with Polygon. And then in Q1 2023, we're going to do a fundraising and uh, talking to Launchpads in order to also uh, launch our token. Thank you. You can scan the code if you want to, to see our beta or our website. Thank you, Pascale. Thanks a lot already. Maybe I'm directly jumping in, Pascal. Um, so maybe the first question, um, why did you, or like, how are you exactly working with Chainlink? Because um, why do you need an Oracle? Or like, how do you integrate that um, basically into Gamis? They are mainly helping us uh, promoting our uh, product and uh, connecting us uh, to their network. It's mainly a startup program. It's not using their technology. Oh, okay, okay. So for instance, we, we got invited uh, at SmartCon in New York and we got many introductions. I met the founder of Avalanche, for instance. So it's mainly, yeah, helping us uh, running our business. Oh, no, that's cool. All right, first of all, thank you very, very much for the pitch. I, I really like it um, because you're focusing on the right things. Um, in the end, I mean, this is this is like the whole proposition of Web3 and media, right? So it's about co-creation, co-ownership and, you know, a decentralized distribution to whoever is basically participating and interacting with the content. So I really, really like where you're going. Um, however, um, if it was that simple, um, obviously many, many others would have done the same thing before. So my key question goes into two um, directions. Number one is like like the market out there, right? It's it's like the TikToks, the, the Metas and, and so on and so on. They have the audience, they have the money, they have the marketing spend. Um, people are very sticky. Like how are you actually planning on competing with them and particularly focusing on the marketing funnel, custom acquisition costs, retention and the likes. I get the product, I get the vision, I get everything, but how are you solving this? Yes, yeah, th that's, a, that's a great question. So uh, first of all, uh, I use TikTok a lot, like an hour a day, probably when I go to sleep, but uh, I also use uh, Twitter. I also go to Point Telegraph or Point Desk to know what's going on today about the space because sometimes on TikTok I don't know enough because the main purpose of TikTok is uh, having fun. And uh, even if our technology can be at least the front end because we are decentralized, can be similar to those kind of platforms, I think what makes us uh, different is that uh, we want to build an aggregator of content about crypto. This is not on the market yet. So for instance, today I'm uh, at this event in Dubai, but you cannot watch it on the internet. And if we uh, bring them on board, because now they just upload videos on our platform, we bring on board, then you open the gummies, it's a completely different kind of content 
if you mm -hmm. compare it to TikTok. And uh, using the tokens as a reward, people can be uh, motivated in a different way because, of course, they can learn and uh, uh, they, can, they can also earn. And uh, another way that they are not doing yet is the education. So actually, uh, protocols invest a lot of money. I make uh, one example, but I can make many like Polygon or Filecoin. They are the most active on the market. They invest millions in education. But when they, they just uh, do it, maybe they pay influencers, they make content on YouTube, they do also like uh, uh, classes. But then we could do uh, videos that lead the users to do some actions. Like uh, today, or we teach you how to download the MetaMask and how to use it, and then you get paid. And we get paid from them, and then we are able to sustain also the, mm. the model because then we pay back the user. So, yeah, this is a, a, about the vision and how we could uh, have our own space. Uh, because as I use TikTok, then I switch to Coindesk. I can also switch to Gamis and see what's going on today. Uh, if, if there is any event, any new project, and of course, we can use this instrument also for marketing. We can be a very huge marketing agency or we can almost affect uh, the narrative. Because mm -hmm. if we have like uh, 500 content creators on the platform, we could uh, let them talk about whatever we, we, we please, basically. And we can launch lots of projects on our platform. But yeah, mm -hmm. maybe I'm going too far. But just want to tell you that uh, the way we are going to start can be very massive because now we have 65 verified content creators. When I say verified, it means that they did the diligence process with us because we only want high quality projects, not just shillers and people that talk about uh, uh, meme coins, but people that can live and uh, can, can give uh, learnings. So mm -hmm. if they all start talking about gummies on their platforms, on Twitter, on TikTok, anywhere when we launch, yeah, our, our launch can be very big. And for mm. instance, we are supported by Filecoin, Polygon, and Supportable Domains, mm. yeah. Okay. So, so, so understood. So, so your, your, your answer to that in, in very simple terms is uh, the content strategy, which is catering the right audience, so the Web3 audience, so educational content. Yes. Likes. So basically, a again, simple words, multi-channel mirror.xyz, which actually followed exactly the same strategy because, you know, they, they wanted to be a decentralized publishing platform and then they realized, okay, there's just this Web3 audience, so let's focus on that first. And also having this token gated access and making it exclusive and then, you know, opening things up. Um, sounds interesting. Exactly. Um, two, two questions, if I still have the time. Um, number one, so, so you have this um, education or learn and earn model or however that was called in your pitch. Um, how is that different to play to earn and how do you make it sustainable compared to play to earn? Yeah, I, I think play to earn at least the way they are doing uh, the next user we just pay the old ones, right? But in our case, we get paid from advertisement. Ah, okay. That I think, that, that I think is not enough but I can tell you that uh, you can charge a lot because uh, crypto companies pay a lot of money. Even for banners, uh, the cost per click can be very high. But uh, we also see a lot of room for events because they earn a lot and they spend a lot. And uh, also for these educational programs. So maybe uh, in, in Fura, MetaMask can pay us uh, $1 for each person we lead to download MetaMask, for instance. Mm -hmm. So just... in that case, we get one dollar from uh, from them, and then we give fifty cents to the user. Mm -hmm. Totally understood. So if you have the reach, obviously you can monetize the reach. I mean, like of this course. basic digital reach entertainment model. And last but not least, um, how is your like current funding, and like what are you roughly planning to to raise if you want to share? Can share. Yeah, yeah, I, I can share. The initial idea before the bear market was to raise just in tokens, mm -hmm. but I feel that uh, at this time for the conversations also that I got with VCs, we want to raise a hybrid model and uh, we are going to do this fundraising in Q1 2023 because I want to finish this program with the Polygon Ventures. I'm going to be connected to many of them. And yeah, we want to raise uh, about 2.2 million. But maybe this might change a bit after this, uh, the, the end of this program. So because I, I really rely 2.2. 2. 2. 
2.2. Okay. And how large is the team at the moment? It looked very large. It, it looks very large, but we are three full time. Uh, now we are also, I'm also making join a new co founder. So we're going to be four. And then we have uh, freelancers. But uh, I also, I'm also lucky because uh, I own uh, my own company in the Netherlands and we do IT for corporates. Okay. So I have a pool of devs. It's got 10 champions. Thank you very much. That was very interesting. Thanks to you.